All right, YouTube, so we got some cotton tail. I'm gonna show you guys here. Nice little headshot. I was trying to pound away at him. My buddy got him. Actually, it looks like he got, he got hit twice. So I'm gonna take him back to the truck and um, skin him out, cook him up, eat him up. I'll show you guys the fur, really nice fur. It's really clean. So uh, to your animal lovers, I apologize. I know a lot of you guys fucking get pissed off about shit like this, uh, but you know what? Living off the land, you gotta learn how to hunt. You gotta learn how to eat. Uh, me being a butcher, I do this shit on a daily basis. Well, not with them, not with contails. Um, so yeah, so there's a good little sign there. You can see how big he is. So we're gonna skin him up. Stay tuned. I might do a separate video right, on that YouTube, one. So you got All a right, cottontail. And I already started the process of uh, cutting it off at the legs. And basically what I'm gonna do is split right down the center uh, to the A-ho. And then I'm gonna start the peeling process. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I've never done this with uh, cottontail, but I'm pretty sure it's similar to uh, to uh, jackrabbit, and coyote, and all that other good stuff. So we're just gonna cut off here, start the peeling process here. Just start just being able to peel back usually what you want to do is uh, have both legs tied up so it makes it a lot easier to cut back and uh, another thing you want to do is grab the tail and you want to basically just split right where the tailbone's at so we got that and see there's the tailbone right there the fur comes right off the tailbone and you want to just basically get your finger right inside there, pull it apart, and uh, you should be able to just start getting the fur back. And it's just basically a peeling process from here. So you can see. So all you gotta do is just peel it. And what we'll do is stick this bad boy out to dry. You also want to use the brains to uh, help dry it out. All right, so we got the arms. So you can see the arms here. What I'll do is I'll split up along the arm side. Right in there. It's just basically like taking off the shirt. Get his arm out. Hear the donkeys out there? Yeah. Fuckers are coming right at us. Yeah, I just ripped the bunny's arm off. All right, so there's the fur. Beautiful fur. You guys should see it there. Yeah, it'd be nice if the fur wasn't flying in my face. So there you go, you guys. Uh, there's your rabbit. Uh, you can see I didn't do a professional job. Uh, this is basically a quick job just to make sure I get my fur. Um, you, you can get in real depth and uh, actually bleach the, uh, the foot and uh, also the tail, which I got the tail here. This is basically your bunny tail. And that's what they use. They stuff it, fill it up with a key and make keychains out of this. Uh, so there's my fur, really nice, really soft. Uh, we'll take it home. What I'll do is flip it inside out and uh, begin the ble uh, bleaching process. And I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'll probably eat that right there. Some nice little rabbit foot. I'll make sure I clean that up. Um, and what you want to do here is uh, get into the skull area and you're going to want to get into that brain and get that brain out of there. And what you do basically is, uh, I see people use alcohol or you can use, um, I forget what the name is. There's another name for another item that you can get, but you get the brain and you mix it in with the alcohol or the water and you use it for the bleaching process of the inside of the rabbit. So. Rate, comment, subscribe. Any of you animal lovers, I apologize, but you know what? Uh, this is basically survival needs. Uh, we are gonna eat this, you can see. Uh, what we will do is uh, gut it open 
and we'll get all the guttings out make sure that uh there <laughs> people are like oh. uh make sure there's no worms and stuff within the intestines and um clean all that out i don't eat the intestines basically i just eat the the solid meats and stuff so you know benefits of being a butcher this stuff really does not bother me except for a lot of people are like what the fuck you doing george <laughs> so all right uh i will show you the processing of the bleaching so stay tuned and um yeah we're gonna probably just stick this bad boy on uh probably stick it in the ice chest and then take it home and do some barbecuing on it so stay tuned much love and respects god bless rate comment subscribe i'm up and out peace all right guys so uh i'm home now and I got the rabbit fur basically tacked up. Uh, it doesn't look the prettiest right now just because I actually washed it out. Um, I didn't salt it or any of that. Right now I'm basically just drying it out and then I'll probably go in and salt it. Uh, you can still see it's still got a lot of the membrane uh, within the skin area. Uh, you can see that the bullet hole which uh, basically shot it practically in the face uh, but you can see the two bullet holes there the entry wound and then the exit wound which uh, left a bigger hole um, so yeah I'm gonna let this dry out and then I'll show you guys I got the rabbit tail the rabbit tail is really cool you really don't have to do much to it because um, I mean it's just a really small tailbone and you just basically rip the tail off and you got a nice little fluff ball I'll show you guys there so pretty cool little you know knickknack to have um, you can shove something within there and basically make like a keychain out of it or whatever I'm just gonna set it up there and just actually have it for keeps uh, the meat was not good enough to eat unfortunately uh, after we cut it open and inspected it I, you guys seen I gutted it and uh, after inspecting the meat uh, there was just it was just horrible um, it almost appeared as if there was ticks uh, within the rabbits so and then there was parasites and stuff you can see within the, the meat muscle and so yeah it wasn't good to eat otherwise we would have uh, bone appetite on it but we did got the we got the skin so really cool uh, for the trolls out there uh, I know you guys are gonna be like oh you're a freaking animal killer or whatnot uh, come on, it, it's a rabbit and there's you know that, that's what the whole hunting license is for and everything else so you know this is just uh, a sport and also learning how to survive off the land you know it's a big thing and um, if you're you know shit hits the fast scenario you need something like some uh, kind of scarf or it doesn't even matter you can use this fur for just about anything if it's a shit hits the fan scenario and uh, it's cool to have so yeah hope you guys enjoy that I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on my Recent or not recent, but um, my drying of my rattlesnake skin. Say hi, Dada. Hi. <laughs> He's playing with Mama. So there's my rattlesnake drying that I did. It came out really good. Um, basically framed it and everything. So really cool. I, I actually like that a lot. And so I will frame the rabbit fur. My next big hit I'm trying to really get to is a uh, coyote pelt. I really want to get a coyote pelt and I'm going to actually, if I do get one, uh, bleach the brain or bleach the head, excuse me. And also uh, the way I want to keep the pelt is face and all, face all the way down to the tail. It's a lot of work, but I got a lot of room here in my man cave to do the, you know, the necessities of uh, bleaching it proper. So you can see my cutting wasn't that great on this. Uh, Pretty much was in a hurry when I did it, but I mean it's gonna look nice. I, I can tuck with tuck in some areas when I frame it. You guys will see when it's framed, it's gonna come out really nice. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry, then as I stated, I'll salt and bleach it. And so stay tuned for that video. Uh, I'll do that separate. All right, much love, respect, rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'm up and out. Peace, my friends. All right, guys. So I got it all basically cured, dried out, and I got the fur uh, pretty well, what you would consider fluffed out, uh, along with the tail. You can see here. Sorry about the glare. Um, but I just did a simple framing, nothing fancy. Similar to what I did with the rattlesnake. Next uh, step or next goal is a uh, coyote pelt. I'm working really hard on getting one. I mean, we go out every freaking day and try to get one and, you know, nothing. We see coyotes here in town every day. I mean, they just wander around town like it's their business, but. Uh, when we go out hunting where we're supposed to be at, it's just, it's a no-go. We can't find nothing. So, 
Stay tuned. Hopefully soon we'll hit one. Uh, my next goal is to basically get a recurved bow, crossbow, or a uh, compound. And uh, I can hit a coyote here in town with one of those and uh, not breaking any laws. So that's my next goal is basically uh, archery. Be able to hit a coyote out here in the middle of town with an archery and you know not break any laws. You can't do it with a firearm because you got to be outside of city limits with a firearm. So, and I really don't want to run around with the uh, airsoft, or not airsoft, but a pellet gun, high pressure pellet gun, because it also looks like a firearm and people will start wigging out. Um, but archery, I'm going to end up getting a, a crossbow or something like that and uh, get me a coyote here in town. So, well, there's a the rabbit fur. Came out pretty nice, not bad. Uh, I didn't do a professional cutting when I did it, but you know what? Came out pretty nice and I actually like it. Nice little frame, nice memory. So, and as I stated, there's the rattlers that we uh, killed and skinned. We didn't eat the rabbit meat. Uh, I asked my bro about it. He says uh, only within the months that end in uh, like burr, so December, November, October, stuff like that. That's the only time you want to eat the rabbit meat. Uh, we found a lot of ticks and fleas, and also on its liver, it had white pouches. Uh, so it was a no-go, no eating. Um, but yeah, you know, it's for the sport, for the fur, and for basically living off the land if uh, shit hits the fan. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll get a bunch of negatives on it, on this video, a bunch of thumbs down for all them rabbit lovers. But uh, hey, whatever. Happy Easter. God bless you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'm up and out. Peace.